All right, all right. Hello. Hello. What's up? How are you? Glad you are here. This is English vocabulary and pronunciation, where every day we review and discuss a list of important, useful vocabulary with different topics and themes that you can use in your everyday life to improve your English vocabulary and pronunciation and also improve your understanding of English. So it's great to have you here. We'll be sharing a list of how many today on this list. Number, let's see, 26, 26 vocabulary words and the topic today is this is lesson 20 lesson 20 and this is rooms in a house rooms in a house in a house there are many different areas and we have a name for all of these different areas do you know what those names are well we're going to learn right now so number one is attic 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 is the top part of a house. Sometimes we live in the attic or we make a room out of the attic. Sometimes the attic is just empty. Sometimes it's used for storage. So number one is attic. Number two is basement. Basement is the bottom part of the house. The bottom, the lowest level of the house is called the basement. And sometimes we can finish the basement so that it becomes an extra room that we can use for entertaining or recreation or just storage. Basement, basement is the bottom part of the house. Number three is bathroom. Bathroom is where we get cleaned up in the morning or in the evening or any time of day actually. It's where we take a bath, brush our teeth, wash our face, brush our hair. We do everything in the bathroom just to stay clean, get cleaned up so that we can go outside and be presentable in public. Bathroom, here's the picture of a very simple bathroom, simple but clean and elegant bathroom. Number four is the place that we sleep and that's called the bedroom, bedroom. Some bedrooms are quite large and fancy. Some bedrooms are quite so small and simple. But the bedroom is where you sleep. We spend a lot of time in the bedroom, probably one third of our lives we spend sleeping. Eight hours a day, that's a third. So you want your bedroom to be comfortable if possible. Number five is cellar. Cellar is a place in the house and not every house, most houses don't have a cellar, but when I think of cellar, I think of a place that's cool and dry, which is why it's a perfect place to keep wine. Wine has to stay at, a, at the same temperature and in a cellar, it's underground and the temperature doesn't change. So a cellar is the ideal place for wine storage. Number six is closet. Closet is a storage area for your clothes and shoes and bags and hats and things that you would like to keep separated. Closet is usually attached to your bedroom and it's where we keep all of our clothes and clothing items. Closet, closet. Number six is den. Den is kind of like a relaxing area where um, we just kind of chill out. Maybe read a book, do some work, read the newspaper, maybe uh, just do a little meditation in the den. You might have the computer in the den too. You can do your work there, den. Number eight is dining room. Dining room. Dining room is the place where we eat. 
Usually it's where the dining room table is and the friends and family gather to sit together. The dining room should be spacious enough to have a small group of people to eat. So if you don't eat your meals in the kitchen, the dining room is the best place to eat your meals, dining room. Number nine is not really inside the house, it's outside of the house, but it's called the, the front yard, front yard. In front of the house, there's grass, there's maybe some trees or bushes or flowers, maybe a, a, a white fence. That's the area in the front of the house. We call that the front yard, front yard. Number 10 is garage, garage. Garage is the space where you keep your car. You park your car in the garage. These are quite fancy cars. There's a car in the garage. You park the car in the garage. Number 11 is hall or hallway. Let's say hallway. Hall or hallway is the, the passageway that connects rooms together. Most homes have a hallway and on the side of the hallway, you'll see doors to enter different rooms. Hallway or hall, long and narrow hall. And that's actually number 12, hallway. Hall and hallway, same, same, same thing. Number 13 is kitchen. Kitchen is where you prepare your food. You cook things in the kitchen. Usually there's a stove, an oven, a refrigerator. It's where you cook your meals. There's a very typical American simple kitchen with a refrigerator and a stove and kitchen cabinets, kitchen. Number 14 is laundry. Laundry room is the room where you have your washer and your dryer and you can wash and dry your clothes in the laundry room. Sometimes there's a sink for washing. Some laundry rooms are quite fancy, actually. Some can be simple. But when you wash your clothes, you take them to the laundry room and wash your clothes. Laundry room. Number 16 is master bedroom. Master bedroom. And the master bedroom is usually where it's the biggest bedroom in the house. And usually it has a big closet and there's a bathroom attached to the master bedroom. It's the biggest bedroom. Most houses have a few bedrooms, two, three, four, five bedrooms. And the master is the king, it's the biggest. Number 17 is office. Office. Some people like to put an office in their home. They do work, maybe they work online. They put a computer and a desk in a separate room where they can be productive and have an office at home. So you don't always have to go to a company to work in an office. You can have your own office at home. So you don't have to leave the house and it's convenient, you don't have to travel. Number 18 is pantry. Pantry is a closet where you keep your food. So the food is, this pantry is a closet, part of the kitchen, and it's where the food is all kept. Pantry, and if you're organized, it makes it very easy to find your food. And it's just an extra closet, but it's where most of the food is kept out of the way and conveniently located. So if you, whatever you need, you can find it quickly. Number 19 is patio. Patio is like an additional room off of the back of the house. Um, and it's usually like an outdoor room. Let's find a good patio here. Here's a patio. So it's out, it's an outside relaxation area. Sometimes it's not covered. Sometimes it is covered. Um, 
but it's just a place where you can sit outside with a with chairs and a table where you can enjoy the weather, enjoy the outside patio, patio. If you have kids, it's really important to have a playroom, a place where the kids can play. So a playroom is where the toys and the kids stuff would all be kept. So depending on how much space you have, you can actually have a pretty nice size playroom so that the kids don't mess up the rest of the house. They can have their own space where they can play and have fun. Playroom. Number 21 is porch. Porch is a space on the front of the house or the back of the house, but it's another area where you're able to put a, some chairs or maybe a table and sit outside and enjoy, enjoy the outdoors. That's called a porch. There's a very common, typical looking American front porch. Porch. Number 22 is staircase, also known as stairs. Staircase, if you have multiple levels, if you have an upper level or a lower level, you have to get up and down to those levels and you use the staircase, staircase. Number 23 is study. Study is a place where, it's like an office actually. So a study is actually a fancy, fancy term for an office. You see these pictures, they have mostly a, an office chair with a computer and some bookshelves, some books. So a study is basically an office at home, study. Number 24 is sunroom. Sunroom. Sunroom is attached to the house and it's kind of an indoor outdoor room that you can enjoy seeing lots of, lots of windows and, and experiencing the sunshine outside, but you're still protected under cover. So we call that a sunroom, a sunroom. Number 25 is TV room. And as the name suggests, it's the room, obviously, where you have the TV. The room where people gather to watch TV or you sit alone to watch TV, we just call the TV room. TV room. And finally, number 26 is workshop. Workshop. If you ever work on projects or you like to build things or paint things or do arts and crafts, it's a place where you can get dirty. Or if you work on cars, you have tools. So it's not a living space, it's a working space, but it's where you keep all your tools and do all your, your cutting and sawing and mechanical things. That's called a workshop, workshop. So there you go, everyone. You got 26 new words. I'm sure you were familiar with some of them, but it's always good to get a refresher. So even if you know some of these words, like base, bathroom, bedroom, you know those words, but I just wanted to show you some pictures so that uh, you can get a visual uh, idea of, you know, what some different things look like. So if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you find the vocabulary review useful, I hope you subscribe so that you come back. We always have new topics and themes and categories that we review every day. So English is not an English, it's not an easy language to learn, but because there's so much vocabulary and so many things to remember. But as you improve your English, you improve your vocabulary, you'll be able to communicate more efficiently, communicate, speak more clearly and effectively as you improve and grow, increase and grow your vocabulary. So you can also improve your listening skills too when you're familiar with more cat uh, vocabulary. So again, thanks for joining. It's been great to be able to spend this time 
sharing this vocabulary with you. I hope you return soon. So as always, have a great day. Send us a note if you have any questions or comments or if there's a category or theme that you would like us to review, we would love to do that for you. So again, have a great day. Have a wonderful week. I hope you return soon. See you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.